Downtime is hard to come by at the Union oh. Mills feed store in Milano, Oregon. It's been that way for five generations. Today, it's out there today getting unloaded. You know, we've been in business for 130 years, and not many companies can say they've been in business, especially the same family, the same area, doing pretty much the same thing we've been doing all these years. And at the center of the activity is Bob Frederick. This is, this is the old homestead, well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I've been here since uh, I was two, which about four, 1942 was when uh, my folks moved here. 1942. Yeah. It was Bob's great-great-grandparents whose trip on the Oregon Trail brought them to this property in 1848. From sawmill, feed store, to family farm, this operation has changed with the times. Yeah, chickens, chickens over there, yeah. I see. And yeah, wife and I both like chickens. Yeah. And some, there's some guineas in there. Got some peacocks in the other one. Ducks in the next pan. You know, just a little bit of everything. So it must be pretty humbling to be here how many years later after you know, your ancestors built this farm to still have it going, to still have oh, yeah. the livestock. It's, it's, and... it's nice. I, you know, I, always, I always think about it you know, once in a while about you. I wonder what it was like back in the 1850s so when they got here and cleared this ground. In 1877, a flour mill was built. It was converted to a livestock feed mill in the 1930s. Today, Bob's daughter, Connie, is the mill's general manager, and Connie's husband does construction projects. And the nice thing is that we don't have to have two bags five deep. His daughter, Heather, spends her weekends working at the mill and farm and is planning to return full time to the mill soon. I think that we're born with that, that passion, you know, of you know, our, our ancestors. We have the work ethic. I know it was born into us. You know, we were raised working. We were raised um, to be very supportive and faithful to the family. I don't know how old we were at that age. As Bob's generation has a smaller role in the day-to-day -day operation, there's more talk now of handing off to the next generation. And, and even my kids who are young enough, they come down here and help after school sometimes. They'll help on the weekends. Uh, when we have events going on, they'll come and help do whatever they can. Maybe, you know, someday eventually take over the business. Like many agricultural endeavors, the Fredericks face land value pressures, growth challenges, and changing demands at their store. They adapt to meet new consumer demands. Two of their biggest areas now are horse care products and pet food. What's the lesson you're, you're trying to share, or you're gonna pass on to the next generation when they take this thing over? What are you gonna tell them in terms of managing something like this? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, every, I know one thing, you never make a lot of money. Your money's invested in what you have. But you get a satisfaction. I don't know what it is. It's just a satisfa satisfaction that's down in here somewhere that says, look what I've done. I've kept this going another generation. Family land and the house and the business are that's our life. That's our life. Yeah, I we mean, will stay. We will never sell our property. You would have to come and get it. Yeah. Dad, is that you behind me? Yes, it is. Say cheese. <laughs>